In this video, we are gonna see why Mother Mary is Our Lady of the Mount Carmel. What is Mount Carmel? Mount Carmel is a coastal mountain region in northern Israel stretching from the Mediterranean Sea towards the southwest. Mount Carmel is mentioned as a holy mountain. Mount Carmel is the mountain on which the prophet Elijah successfully challenged the priests of Baal and warned the people to the true God. Now let's see the origin of the Carmelite order. The order of Carmelites has its origin on Mount Carmel. The word Carmel means garden. In the 12th century, some pilgrims who had came from Europe came together near the spring of Elijah of Mount Carmel to live out their Christianity as hermits. The spring of Elijah was the spring of water in which Elijah threw the salt and purified it so that there would be no more death or miscarriages for the people who drink the water. Those hermits later called as Carmelites. The Carmelites did not have any founder but they remained as faithful followers of Elijah. Some time later, they built a chapel and dedicated it to Mother Mary. Then the Carmelites made Our Lady as their patroness. Thus, Carmel is deeply associated with Elijah and Mother Mary. From Elijah, the Carmelites inherited a burning passion for God and from Mother Mary, they learned to live committed in the footsteps of Jesus Christ. We saw the adorable love of the Carmelites towards our mother and also the origin of the Carmelites. Now let's see the apparition of our mother. The Carmelites were living in peace and happiness on the Mount Carmel, but suddenly the Saracens invaded the place and caused the hermits, the Carmelites, to flee from Mount Carmel to Europe. At this time in the year 1246, St. Simon Stock was named as General of the Carmelite Order. St. Simon Stock prayed the Virgin Mary so fervently about the persecution of their Carmelite Order. He begged Our Lady for the protection of the whole community. In response to this fervent prayer, on July 16th in the year 1251, Our Lady appeared to St. Simon Stock and gave him the scapula for the Carmelite order with this promise. This must be a sign and privilege for you and for all the Carmelites. Whoever dies wearing this scapula will not suffer eternal fire. So this was the apparition of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Although the scapula was given to the Carmelites, with time many people began to wear the scapula. So the church has extended the privilege of the scapula to all the laity. The Blessed Virgin Mary also appeared to Pope John XXII in the 14th century and promised that those who would comply with the requirements to this devotion as Mother of Mercy with my pleadings, prayers, merits and special protection, I will aid them so that they will get free as soon as possible from their sufferings in purgatory those souls will be taken to heaven. What Our Lady is saying is that those who wear the scapula will be saved from eternal fires, which was hell, and also our mother will shorten the stay in purgatory for that soul that wears the scapula. The Blessed Mother also assigned certain conditions which must be fulfilled. Wear the brown scapula continuously. Observe chastity according to one's state in life. Observe the fasts of the church together with abstaining from meat on Wednesdays or Saturdays or with the permission of a priest, say five decades of the Holy Rosary. So this was the history of Our Lady of Mount Carmel and the origin of scapula. Now we know how important the scapula is. So buy and wear a scapula, tell about it to your family and friends and if you have grandfather or grandmother, make them wear it and make sure they follow the three conditions. And before everything, the scapula must be blessed by a priest, only then it should be worn. Thanks for watching.